Okay, this is AC Power and Comfort. We're out here on a train unit package. However, we have a leak on a coil. Uh, this system was pressure tested uh, two days ago and it's running low again. I mean, when I came out here, it was actually completely fat, flat because I had it under a nitrogen test and it was at zero. Right now, uh, it is inside the coil and it's it's in this area here wait until the other remaining gases start to boil off but it's in here in this area right here uh, so what I'm gonna do pretty much in this area is I'm gonna isolate a section of the coil for circuit 2 uh, because I'm not gonna sweat in here and break into the actual copper because uh, you gotta be very careful because you might end up rupturing and the thing is the copper tubing is much thinner than the outside tubing uh, so I'm gonna isolate it since these are 12 rows each on the suction as well as the liquid line side I will count my 12 on the suction uh, here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and then this isolates up here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, uh, 10, 12 and then the same thing with the liquid Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and then another twelve up here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So I'll, as I count here, the two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve towards the center. I'm gonna do the same here, so that I'm on the same circuit. Because the thing is, I'm gonna close off. I'm gonna crimp here, sweat, crimp here, and. Okay, everyone. AC power, comfort. Now, uh, just real quick, uh, we have over 300 PSI on circuit number two. Uh, we had an issue where we had a leak in the coil here, okay, and it was in this area. I kind of marked it by pressing my thumb in here, uh, right in here. I actually traced the line. I just needed to make sure which circuit it was, circuit number two, which is this circuit here. Uh, couldn't tell which, if it was this one or this one on this level. Uh, so I do believe it was probably this one, but just to make certain I did also check I also did crimp this one and completely remove this out of the circuit uh, This will stay in the circuit. It's a total of uh, if I'm correct 24 uh, 12 and 12 uh, 2 4 6 8 10 12 yeah, and another 12 it's 24 uh, pretty much 24 uh, circuits, but now we're down to uh, maybe I would say 75 75% uh, of the coil usage however uh, this is just a thing to do in the field uh, it's isolated here these are no longer uh, in use uh, due to the fact that I did not want to I did not want to put any torching to here because again we have a circuit number one that's filled with refrigerant right now and uh, I'm not gonna be recovering the refrigerant more labor more time uh, to be doing that to make a nasty hole in here but to go ahead and just pretty much give them uh, sufficient cooling still they still will have sufficient cooling uh, they might lose uh, I would say two degrees or maybe one one and a half degree of temperature who knows we're not sure what 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 uh, the temperature might be now but still they're gonna achieve their set point temperature if they wanted to achieve 58 or 57 they will achieve 57 degrees of supply air um, if they wanted to achieve maybe 54, I'm not sure if it'll make it a 54. There's a possibility uh, that it will. Uh, we, all we have to do is uh, just pretty much run the refrigerant. Uh, I mean, put the refrigerant in the circuit. Go ahead and test it. But however, this was uh, enough with the other rambling of the talk. The actual uh, circuit 2 is completely uh, sealed now. It's no more of a leak. Uh, they still can use 75% uh, of the coil right now uh, so again this is a method uh, hold on for a second this is a method of troubleshooting when it comes to the refrigeration circuit uh, you don't really have to say uh, look you have to replace the coil I mean you can give the client time to replace the coil in the near future by doing something like this uh, majority of some contractors might end up saying it's non-repairable or they'll try to make the attempt to repair but due to the fact that this is a critical area where the circuit number one 
it has full refrigerant and then applying torches to that area is just you know at this point they would probably say it's, the coil is non-repairable but uh, some contractors might end up doing the same thing but for those that are just starting in this field that's a, uh, a, a good way of keeping a good relationship with your client AC Power Comfort you can visit my website at www.acpowercomfort.com again that's www.acpowercomfort.com thank you for viewing